There we go. Good morning. So welcome. Thank you for showing up. My name is Kelly. I appreciate you being here. So let's get started. I have 12 pound weights and 15 pound weights. Inhale and reach your arms up, stretch overhead. Look up at your hands and then put your hands on your thighs, round your spine, lower the back and reach up. So do that again. Hands on the thighs, round your back, lower down. Good morning. Hands down, lift up your back, lower down, inhale, reach up. Hope you've put some music on. Lift up your back and lower, do that one more time. And now let's just squat 10 times, 10, warming up the hips and the knees, the ankles, keep your heels down on the floor, your back neutral. Five, four, three, two, and then one. Now rear lunge, right and left. Curl your biceps. So all these moves we'll do later with weights, upper and lower body together in most of the moves. And we're doing 10 moves. The only repeats would, will be when there's just a right, when it's a bilateral move, right side and left side. Two more. And one more. Now lateral, lateral lunge to the side. Other side. So sink your weight back into your heels. Bend your knee. Bend your hip. Sink back. Reach the, arm, the arms in front. Two more, one more. Now let's walk it out on the mat or on the floor. Reach up first, look forward, hands down. Walk it out right there. Straight body, walk it back. Reach up, walk it out. Hold right here, tap your shoulders, tap 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 walk it in reach up and do that again walk it out tap your shoulders four three two one walk it in and reach out do it one more time and we'll get started two three four walk it back all right, so let's get started. Okay, first move, squats to overhead press. I'm gonna pick up my 12 pound weights. Squat to get your weight, weight up to your shoulders, feet a little wider than hips, squat and press overhead. Squat and press. Sink your weight back, lift up, Straight arms at the top. Lift up, grow tall. Press your feet down. Abs contracted. Squat and lower, lift. Squat, lift. Slow and controlled movement. Upper shoulder press. Squat, lowering down at the same time. Increasing the heart rate. Keep the weight. Alternating a rear lunge with a bicep curl, okay? So look forward, chin neutral. Hold the weight strong in your arms. Curl up, get your balance. Stepping back. <laughs> Lower the knee. Curl, step back, bend the knee and lower. 
Step back, bend the knee lower. Do it again. Curl your biceps all the way up to your shoulders. Now turn your palms up. So we'll vary that bicep curl all the way up. Step back, curl again. Breathe. Three, two, and one. Nicely done. Bridge. So let's take it down. I'm going to have you use the weights. So head on the floor, feet near your glutes. Bring those weights up, elbows touch the floor. Lift the hips. Lift and lower. Press your weights up, straight up. Chest press as you lift. So here's the thing, you guys, with the bridge lift. Your knees, don't let them fall out. You want to have them pointing straight up. But you can turn your toes just slightly if you need to make, if you're feeling any stress on the knees. Press to your heels. Lift up. Chest press. Bridge. Good. Now bring it up. Come all the way up. Next up, sumo squats. So pick up one heavy weight, and you'll hold it right here. Toes turned out. Wide, wide feet. Squat and lift. Down and up. Hold the end of the dumbbell or weight if you've got a kettlebell or other. Lower and lift. So the key thing here is to squat down, bring it low, touch, and then push top. Lift up, straighten those legs at the top. Stand all the way up. Touch and lift. Straight legs at the top. All the way down, lift up. Three, two, and one. Renegade row. So pick up the other weight, place it on the mat. So carefully hold your hips stable. Do one push up and then row right and then left. Do it again. Push up. Whoops. Right. And then left. Lift your, your hips. Keep your hips stable. So do it again. Lower and lift. Row all the way up. Lift it up. <laughs> Push to the top and lift. Lift. Do it one more time. Row and row. You did it. Get this straighted. Ah, okay. So moving on. Pendulum lunge. Pick up two weights. Right leg. Forward. And then back. So look forward, chin neutral, step forward, and step back. Do it again, heel, lower the knee, step together, and back. If you want to, try to lift your knee, and balance in the center, bring it up. Lift, bring it back, bring it up, lunge, and lunge rear. Again. And back. Keep your balance. It's a challenge. Nicely done. Other side. You ready? Left leg. Lunging forward and lunging rear. Hold the weight. Slight bend in the elbows. Start by tapping beside the ankle. Get your balance. And then get, then maybe lift up your knee. 
and step back. Again, lunge, bring it up and back. Elbows bent, lift, look forward. Nicely done, come on. Keep up that rhythm, that pace. Lunge and bring it back. Excellent. Okay, kneeling frontal lift. Bring it down. See right here, shoulders roll back. So right here, lift up and down. Reach as high as your eyesight. Knees underneath your hips. Don't lean back. Straight body, lift up. If you've got lighter weight, you can take this to a faster tempo. Otherwise, stay right here. Breathe. So you guys are gonna do two rounds of these moves, of the 10 full body complex moves. Lift here, working core and shoulders. Frontal deltoids, good. Lateral lunge next, so stand up, bring it up. All right, so protecting the hips and the knees. When you step out, weight back. So stay on one side, one side at a time to keep your form. Lunge, sink your weight back and your heel. And now if you want to, try to reach the opposite side arm. Add that row, bring it up. Lunge and up. There you go, come on. Lunge, reach that other foot. Press down flat into the floor. Don't lift the foot up. One more. Other side. Step over. Lunging. Stepping wide. Straight outside leg. So let's keep the weight steady right here to start with. Get your legs, your foot placement correct. Sink your weight back. Come on. Chin neutral, don't look down. Lunge to the side, sink your weight back. Weight in your heel, bring it down and up. Good, now try to reach. Reach down and bring it up. Carefully though, I don't want you to bring your chest too far forward. Keep your chest up, lower down. Sink down and row, one arm. Nicely done. Excellent work, okay. So let's go through another round. Get a sip of water if you have that nearby and we'll get started right again, right away. Second round, squat press. Squat and press. Notice your knees, don't let them move. And the way you keep your knees stable is by pressing your feet down into the ground. Root your feet into the floor and press. Down and press. Down and press, so and controlled. Down, press, down, Press. That pace, slow. Lift. Nicely done. <laughs> okay. Curl, bicep curl, with a alternating rear lunge. Let's alternate biceps, okay? And you can turn your palm up. So curl. Curl, turn your palms up. <laughs> I had to remind myself that. Curl. Step back. 
Lower your knee, keep the heel above the, uh, the, above the toes, or the ball of the foot back there. Lunge, curl, lunge and curl. Strength training, you guys, come on. Grow in those muscles, lift, Keep moving. One more. So easy to get your to lose your balance. Bridge lift. So everybody pay attention to your body. Lower down, head on the floor, elbows touch. So lift your hips and then bring the weights together at the top. So you're doing a glute bridge with a chest press. I like to do these because you're pressing your shoulders down as you do that press and then lifting the hips straight up. Tap and squeeze at the top. Lift. Tap the elbows. Lift up and down. Lift. Breathe. Keep pressing straight up. Lifting straight up. Do one more. Always try to get that last rep in. Famous words, okay? All right. Bring it up. Sumo squats. So get your heavier weight. I'm gonna get a 20 pound. Ready? So feet wide, toes turned out, sink your weight down our back, look forward, touch the bottom of the weight, lower and lift. So your knees can come forward. The key thing is to have your knees the same direction as your toes. Don't let the knees come in towards each other. Good. Sumo, squat, bring it down and up. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Do it again. Excellent. Okay, renegade row. Adding a push up to that. Get my mic wire behind me. So, right, right here. Bring it up. Push up, row. Do it again. Push up. Keep your hips level. Don't lift them up high. So the tendency is to hike those hips up as you lift one side and then the other. Super hard move, right? Renegade row, challenging your body. I believe this is the most challenging move. We'll take a vote on it later. <laughs> Up. Okay. Pendulum lunge. <laughs> to look. Okay. Ten moves. We're at number five or six. Pendulum lunge. Pendulum lunge right. Forward and back. Just start to sweat. Bend your elbows. Right there, good. Lunge forward, keep your balance. Keep it slow and controlled, you guys. There you go. Control, more important than speed when strength training. Protect your body, hold the weight strong, grip strength. Lunge, do it one more time in the back. Finish the rep. All right, so let's do the other side. Ready? Left leg. Lunge rear and forward. Rear, lift up your knee if you can. Balance right there, or tap beside your ankle. 
lunge and bring it back. Good job. Hold the weight strong. Slight bend in the elbows. Lunge. Step together. Lunge. Step together. Or lift the knee. Balance. Nicely done. Come on. Beautiful. Kneeling frontal. So squat down or come down to your knees. Knees separated just a little bit. Hip width. Shoulders back. Frontal. Lift it straight up. Shoulders back. Abs in. Lift up. Good job. Come on. We have one more move. Lateral lunge, right side and left side. Breathe. <laughs> Good job. Come on. Reach forward, straight arms, right there. Lift. Do it one more time. Grab the weights, stand up. Lateral lunge, let's lunge to the right first. Okay, go ahead and add that row beside your ankle and bring it up. You can do both if you keep your, pull the elbows in and bring those weights back, pinching the blades right there. Lunge, bring it back, good. Come on, lunge, bring it up. Up, come on, lunge. Pace, steady. All right, let's do the other side. And then we're done. Moving on to high intensity interval training, but keeping it low impact. You'll feel the intensity, even though we're keeping it low impact. All right, ready? Go. Last, last one. Keep the knee over your ankle as you lower. Don't lean forward too much. Sink the weight back into your heel. Stick the glutes back right there. Good. Come on. Bring it up. Pinch the blades right there. Nicely done. Come on. Reach and pull, down and lift. Bring it up. Come on, three, two, and one. Nicely done, guys. Strength training done. Let's put our weights away. All right, let's begin. Interval training, you guys. So you come down to your mat and sit to start with, it's always nice. And then bring your right knee forward, left knee side for 90-90, press down this forward knee and then lean forward, good morning. Thank you for joining me, I appreciate it so much. I wouldn't wanna do this alone, <laughs> knees much better together. Press your knees down and lean forward, lift up, Tip, put your feet down flat, knees up and over to the front again. Lean in and then lift up. So knees, and if you bring the elbow down, you'll get a good side stretch. Bring the knee in front of your elbow like this and lift up. Knees over, point your elbow to the floor in front of your knee and lift. Let's do it one more time in the front and then bring it to the back. And then come onto your hands and your knees Bring your right foot forward, left hand on the floor, 
reach the right arm up and then thread it through behind the other knee. You shift your hips forward so you get that good hip flexor stretch and then reach underneath and rotate. So rotating at the trunk, warming up the shoulders, the sides, the spine, lift, hold it up right there, reach, place your hand on your lower back, open up your shoulder, now look down and flex your foot in the front, put your foot flat, reach the arms up, stretch back, straighten that leg as much as you can, get a good hamstring stretch, back flat, put your foot down, inhale and reach up, flex, and reach up. One more time. Inhale, reach. Now let's change sides. Rotation first. So you're gonna bring your foot underneath your knee like that, shift your hips forward, and bring your right hand down, left arm up, reach underneath and rotate. Reach up. Hope everybody's feeling great and ready to Get your heart rate up for just 30 minutes in intervals. One more time. Now reach, put your hand on your back, open the shoulder, press into the hand. Look down and flex your foot in the front, hamstring stretch, put your foot flat and reach up. Bring it back, flex. Do it one more time. Straighten that leg as much as you can. Loosen up the hamstring. All right, so now step forward, round your back, flatten, and then round. Look back behind you when you're round, and then flatten. Lift up, and then lower one more time. And then reach up. You're ready to go. Let's do First it. thing, <laughs> whether you find them favorite or not, <laughs> sumo jacks. Starting the timer that I've set, 45 seconds on the move and Starting session. 15 seconds between the moves, okay? Not much of a rest between, but that's what gets your heart rate up. So think of this as going on a good run, all right? That's how I equate it. So glad I'm not running today. So reach up, step side, touch the floor between your feet like this, bend your knees. Today in Brentwood, Tennessee, it's a rainy, gray cloud, gray sky today. I'm glad I'm not doing the run instead of this. Reach up, touch your hands together overhead, 45 seconds. The higher intensity of this, you can always keep this to a step side touch between the feet, or at least touch the thighs. Nicely done. Come on. Up next, lateral lunge with a punch. So just to get into the move, lunge, bring the arms up like this, and then you'll throw a punch like that. Okay, go. Start like this, turn your heel out, and add that cross punch and then start to add a little hop for intensity. Across, come on. Reach, across, you got it. Quicker movement, higher heart rate, lunge reach. Come on. Ha. You got it, three, two, and one. Skater, speed skater, call it a skater, like this. My mat is secure on the floor, so I can stay here. Reach, and then pick your foot up, tap the toe behind the other leg at that diagonal. Touch, sweep your arms. The lower you touch to the floor, harder, right? Maybe you can touch the floor, reach all the way down there. 
carefully touch. Keep tapping your toe behind. Make that connection. Tap. Come on. Touch. Reach, reach, reach. You got it. Come on. Breathe. Three, two, and one. Nicely done. Okay, now we've got a three-part move. We're going to do high knees, count 12, and then we're going to hop down to burpee. Soft, or you can hop it, okay? So here we go. So knees, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Bring it down. Burpee, I didn't do it the right way. Top your shoulders, four, three, two, one. Bring it in, hop up. Go, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Soft burpee or hop, tap your shoulders, four, three, two, one. Hop in, hop up. Do it again, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's finish. Touch, four, three, two, one. Hop in and up. Jumping jacks, simple. We'll vary them into plyos. So here's low. Base move. Like that. Look forward. Don't look down. Elbows bent. Full jack, press your heels down, hop out, elbows out, you're doing great, come on, plyo jack, out, so squat, two together, squat, nicely done, come on, go back to regular jacks, arms up, Overhead, military jacks. Excellent. Take it down. Plank jacks. So place your hands on the mat. Legs out. Right there, ready? Tap your toes side. So I'd rather you stay here than jar your back by hopping. But maybe you try a few, four, Three, two, one, and tap. Four, three, two, hop. Four, three, two, one, tap. Four, three, two, hop. Four, three, two, tap. Four, three, two, one, hop. Four, three, two, one, tap. Four, and hop. Four, three, two, and one. It's a long time. So separating that, breaking that up, you kept your form, right? Okay. Knee repeater on the right side, okay? So keep that left leg planted. Reach, arms up. Now just make a connection, tap the knee. And now to add a little more coordination, tap the knee, tap the ankle. Alternate knee and ankle. Behind, forward, behind, forward, good. Come on, reach your arms straight though. That's the key. You got it, come on. Nicely done. Super good. Let's do the other side. So stepping back with the left leg. So straight leg to start with. Straight arms beside your ears and start the repeater. Make sure your knee is over your ankle in the front, gaze down, and then connect with the knee. Connect. And now ankle. Knee, ankle, knee, ankle. Good, come on. 
Keep your knee over your ankle in the front whenever you tap the ankle to the side behind. There you go. Come on. You got it. <sighs> Nicely done. Okay, lateral lunges. Lift your knees, alternating right and left, and you'll reach for the floor, okay? Shoulders back. So start like this, base move. Just touch the top of your thigh, right there. Then maybe reach for the floor, reach the arms. That makes it harder. Reach up, harder. Hop, harder. <laughs> Progressing the move, come on, come on. Come on, lunge to one side and then the other. Straight, outside leg. Come on. Beautiful job. Woo! Okay, so. Step back, left your right leg, arms up, and knee skip, skip, knee skip. Okay, there you go, come on. Super hard move, reach up. Last one, <laughs> reach and pull. Change sides. Reach, pull. Lunge, skip. Knee up. Lift it up. Chin up. Nicely done. Okay, second round. First move, base, sumo jacks, like that, okay, come on, and then you'll go to hop, out, touch the floor, come on, come on, don't stop now, one more round, you got it, reach, touch, You got it, sink down. Don't just lean forward. Oh, come on, heart rate up. Nicely done. Okay, lateral lunge. Keep that on, <laughs> so. Like that with a punch. Keep it low. Across. Add a little hop. Come on, grand finale. 10 moves. Number two. Wind it down. Come on. We're winding it up. <laughs> Breathe. Come on. I'm with you. Here we go live. Skater. Base move. Right there. Right there. Right there, <laughs> tap behind, reach the arms. And then lean forward, flat back, touch the floor at a diagonal back there. Touch, reach the leg, reach the fingers for the inside of the calf or the ankle better. 
Keep that movement. Pick your feet up. Come on. You got it. Beautiful. Come on. Three, two, and one. Okay. Here's the three-part move that we were getting to. So, high knees, hop to burpee or plank, and tap your shoulders four. Okay, ready? Go. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Burpee or hop out. Four, three, two, one. Hop in, hop up again. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it out. Tap. Four, three, two, one. Step in. Hop up. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And hold. <laughs> Nicely done. All right, so let's do basic jumping jacks. Simple movement here for a reason. Since so we have that complicated three part move, let's do this like this. Base move, tap side, and you can go faster. Now to hop for intensity, all for our full form. Come on. Arms to the side. All right, plyo. Two, out. Come on. Hop, hop, out. All right, regular jack to finish. Come on. Arms overhead. Come on. Press into your heels. All right. Moving on. Six. So we're over halfway now. Nice, right? I'm ready to be over halfway. <laughs> Hands on the floor. But keep working hard, you guys. So plank, tap your toes out. Jack, hop, look between your thumbs, tap. Press into your fingers. All right, here we go, Jack. Tap. Hop right here, finish. Tap. Three, two, and one. Bring it up. All right, knee repeater. Ready? Shoulders back. One leg back, one leg forward. Reach your arms. Look down, knee over ankle. Okay? Tap, 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 tap. Good, come on, reach and pull. Nicely done, all right, come on. Slow it down if you need to, or don't reach the arms, just keep the arms low. That helps the intensity, or helps you control your heart rate. Otherwise, reach, come on. Come on. I know, I know. Opposite leg. So the forward leg is the leg working, right? Lower, shoulders back. Reach your arms. Here we go. Ankle, knee, ankle, knee. You got it. Come on. 
Excellent. Come on. Breathe. You got it. Come on. Repeat, repeat. Beautiful. Feel that leg? Rest. Conditioning, okay. Laterals. So taking it in a different plane of motion, stepping to the side first, okay? And you can add the hop if you're ready and, and feel good. Reach. Remember, arms down at your sides. Helps control your heart rate. Otherwise, reach up. Touch the floor. We're making it through, you guys. We're almost there. Reach. Touch. Reach. Nicely done. Come on. Add a hop. Come on. You're here with me. Let's do it. Let's finish strong. We have 10 core moves coming up. All right. Rest. Last move. We'll do one side and then the other side. Half and half time. So it's the lunge skip. So lunge. Ready? Skip. Good. Look forward. Seven. Don't look down. Change sides. Lunge. Skip. Skip. Three, four, five, six. Good job. Seven. Look forward. Change sides. Chain sides, do five on the other side. Even it up. Five, four, three, two, then one. Excellent work, you guys. Get some water, wipe your sweat. We're gonna take it to the mat. Shall we begin? Core challenge. We have 10 moves. We'll do each move one time, and then we'll stretch. Let's do it. Right into it, you guys. So lie down. Dead bug. <laughs> kind of feels like that, right? <laughs> Sometimes. So put your head down. Keep thinking about the movement, corrections, and everything. So arms up, knees bent. You're going to reach the right leg, left arm. Keep the opposite limbs straight or from moving. That's the challenge. And get into a rhythm. Tap your heel. Tap your thumb. At the same time. Press your lower back to the floor. This is a key thing, you guys. Press the lower back down. Reach. Nicely done. Okay, so we're going to stay on our back for the first five and flip over for the last five. Okay, so next up is crunches. So start like this, fingers behind your head. Lift up, lift the blades up, lift up. And then try to reach and touch the top of your knees and lower your head up. Lift. So your knees pointing straight up. Lift. Touch the top of your knees. Lower your head. Lift. Up. Bring your hands back behind your ears and crunch. Elbows out of the peripheral, vi the peripheral vision. Lift up. Up. Down. Squeeze. Excellent, hands on the floor, legs up, 
isometrics. So isometric means holding. You're gonna lift your hips up and hold for just a moment. So inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lift. Lower, inhale, exhale, lift. So you're lifting the hips up, legs straight. Just try to sync it up with your breathing. Lower back, lower abs, mostly right here working. Lift up and down. Up and down. Press your hands into the floor. <laughs> Lift, lower, up, chin neutral. All right, you ready? Bicycle. Bring your hands behind your ears, knees bent 90 degrees, elbow to your knee, reach across and straighten the other leg, reach across, straighten the other leg, right there, good. Straight, out, across, across, bring your shoulder off of the floor, heel to the floor, Reach across, elbow over to the side, touch across, crunch across, crunch across, lift it up and over, and you're done. <laughs> Rest for a moment. Upper and lower crunch together. Okay? So, hands behind your ears, knees up, or feet up. Touch your elbows to your knees and touch the floor with your toes. Up. Open up your elbows. Crunch and touch. Crunch. Touch. Bring it in. Again. Nice. Exhale. Reach in and lift the hips up, lift the shoulders off the floor. You have to think about that. It doesn't just happen. Think about it. Three, two, and one. Okay, time to flip. Is that time? Yep, it's time to flip. Bring it over. <laughs> okay, so sweat on the mat. Come onto your forearms right here. Let's get the planks done. Right here, fingers on the floor. Heels over the balls of the feet. Look between the thumbs. Press into the forearms and the palms. Abs in. Tap your knees. Tap. Tap. Breathe. 20 seconds. The last 10 seconds, we'll tap a little quicker. Right here. Tap, tap. Three, two, and one. Child's pose for a moment. Okay, so bring it up. Put your forearm on the, <laughs> the forearm on the mat, coming into side plank on your forearm like this, right? So like that. Prop up underneath with the knee, lower and lift. Or if you're ready, let's progress it. We're at 30 seconds left, like this, right here. And put your hand on your hip and just hold static. 20 seconds left. One foot in front of the other. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Working the obliques. 10 seconds left. Nicely done. Three, two, and one. All right, let's bring it over to the other side. Ready? Up and over. 
turning. So elbow on the floor, palm on the floor. Start by propping up like this, okay? Body straight, hand here, reach up, lower and lift, lower and lift. Right here, all right, hand to your hip. Feel your, the abs right there contracting. All right, 30 seconds left. Bring it up, arm up, palm flat. Press into the forearm, don't dump into the shoulder. All right, lower and lift, lower and lift. Pulse, pulse, five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Okay, come up. Full plank. Gotta do this, right? Bring it up. Fingers off. Our fingers spread. Lift up your legs. Right there. Press into the floor. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. I like this much better than a forearm plank, though. I have to say that. Make sure your heels are not pushing back like that. So you want to have your heels over the balls of your feet. Gaze is slightly forward. And let's just tap the shoulders right here. Super hard, right? Tap, tap. I get it. Tap. Try not to lift your hip. Keep your hips level. If you separate your feet, it's a little easier. Tap, tap. Bring it up, tap. Shoulder, shoulder. Three. Two and one, you did it. All right, child's pose for a moment. One more move. Bring it up. Come onto your forearms, right here. Legs up, knees up. Hardest move, right? So you can tap your knees right here or bring your knee behind the elbow and tap and straight out. Knee behind the elbow and straight out. Do it again. Spider-Man. <laughs> Look between the thumbs. Breathe. Last move, you guys, come on. And then we're gonna stretch. Three, two, and one. Tabata complete. There we go. Nicely done. All right, so let's bring your right knee forward, right leg forward. Shift your hips, hands on the floor. Press your right hand into the inside of the knee, like that. So stretching the flexors, inner thigh over here, your back, flatten your back. So engaging your breath right here, flex your foot and shift your hips back. You wanna straighten this leg, pull the right hip back, draw it under, breathe in and breathe out. So I want you to, before you leave here, to have completely recovered Right? So, so much more effective with your training when you have a good recovery. Breathe in and breathe out. Lower. Now let's just change sides. And then we're going to sit and come into 90-90 stretch. Shift your hips forward. Flexors on this side over here. Reach the hands. And you guys don't just go right to sitting down or go immediately to sitting down. I'm telling you, that makes a big difference. Or it makes a difference in how you feel in your recovery if you stay just with some movement, a little bit of movement, right? Press into your hands. If you're talking on the phone, walk around. <laughs> if you've got like work calls. All right, so now bring it back. Flex your foot. So you wanna draw this hip down, pull the back, press into this heel in the front, back flat.
Breathing in and breathing out. And the breath work is important because when you breathe in deeply, long breaths of air, it tells your central nervous system that you're, that you're safe physically. How else does your central nervous system know that you're safe after being stressed for an hour and 15 minutes or an hour and 10 minutes at least, right? So exercise is good stress, but coming down from that and recovering well is important. So let's sit on the mat. Right shin forward, left shin side like this. All right, now sit up tall. You may feel um, it feels stiff or awkward on this outside hip. If it's painful, pull your heel to your glute. But if it's not, if it's just feeling just like tight, then stay there. Now lean over the forward leg. Breathe. So you can take this in further into pigeon pose if you want to. Otherwise, you can just kind of stay here. This is effectively stretching the hip and the leg and the inner thigh over here. But if you want to take it further into more of a yoga pose, extend the leg back into full pigeon or half pigeon pose. So the leg is underneath you. Press the shin down into the floor. And the fact that you came into it from the 90-90 position keeps those, the knee knee joint and hip joint in a, in a good position, a neutral position. So you can try to lower your chest down over the forward leg, put your forehead down. Relax the neck and the shoulders by kind of tucking the chin. Lift your head. Let's make, let's add to this by reaching your left hand for your right knee and grab your knee and use that as a leverage and turn and look over your shoulder. Notice what happens. So that stretch goes all the way down that left side and the right side and twisting through the spine, abs in. All right, so now look forward, lift up right there. Breathe in, tuck your toes, lift your knee, straighten that leg. So let's lift up into three limb dog. Press into the floor, lift up your right leg, straighten it out away from you, bend and straighten, bend and straighten. And then you're gonna step your left leg forward, or actually sit on the mat, come into 90-90. So 90-90, right leg to the side, left leg forward. Notice the difference? Big difference on this side for me. So a little more stiff on that right hip. But look forward, square your shoulders first. Abs in, pull in your front ribs. We're almost done, you guys. Be patient in this part. This is probably or this is just as important as what we did in the beginning, all that strength training. Lower your chest over the front leg, and you can stay here, maybe put your forearms down on the mat. So the shin bone and the femur thigh bone are in the same plane, right? So keeping the knee protected and the hip protected, stay right there, or if you want to, Bring it into half pigeon pose. Extend the right leg back straight. Point your knee towards the outside edge. And then come down to your forearms. And you're pressing the side of the shin into the floor, by the way. Or the side of the leg, the side of the knee. Tuck your chin and put your forehead down. And make sure that your heel back there is not, the heel isn't dropping out. If you press into your big toe, that helps. Point the heel straight up. Relax the neck and shoulders. Being calm and relaxed with your breath. So breathing in through your nose and then exhaling it out through your mouth. Inhale and lift your head. 
Bring your right hand to your left knee, and we're just gonna add a little twist to this. Hand on the outside of your knee, and turn and look over your shoulder. I'm using my knee to, as resistance, to turn just a little bit more. And I'm feeling it all the way down from my shoulder, down the right side of my body, my right flexors, hip flexors, and then down the hip and the side on the side. Adding that light twist for the spine. So getting into the shoulders, the, or the chest, upper body, and the lower body. You guys, you did a great job. I'm super proud of you for getting up and working out with me. And I'd love to hear from you if you have any questions. And you'll have to let me know if you did this live or the recording. Look forward. And now we're going to lift up. Let's do three limb dogs. So face the mat, left leg up, straight and bend, straight and bend. Walk your feet into your hands, fold over, bend your knees so you can get your ribs resting on the top of the thighs, hands on the floor, straighten your legs as much as you can, hamstring stretch, relax the shoulders. Hands to the thighs with a flat back lift up, standing tall. Reach up. Awesome job. Thank you so much. I'll see you again. Have a great one. Bye.